Hey guys, welcome. It's January 4th, 2021. We're back in the basement. We're going to take a trip down memory lane looking at monogram models. Uh, what I have in my hand right now is a 1970s Panzer Kampf Wagon 4. And um, these were my favorite. This is what I grew up with. I would walk down to the uh, hobby store and these would be the kits that I would buy. And they were usually roughly about two bucks, three bucks for these things. Um, and here's a flock Panzer. And there's a whole series of these. And the original box looked like this. This was the original box. This is the 1960s, believe in 1966, 1969. They were coming out with monogram models for the armor series. And they came out with uh, the pins, uh, the flock Panzer. They came out with the Panzer Kampf wagon, a Stum Panzer, and I believe a uh, Stug as well. Um, I have the. Let's see what we got. What we got? I'm a series. This came in the boxes. And for the armor, you had you had a Pants Comp Wagon 4, you had the Patent Tank, you had a Flak Panzer, you have a Stungjitz, I know I'm destroying that, but you had a Stug, you had a Lee, you had a Grant, you had a Stum Panzer, and you had a Panzer Jagger. A Panzer Jagger 4. <laughs> uh, you also got an American series. Over here, you got the two and a half truck, the two and a half ton truck. You had the personal armored carrier. You had the Jeep with the 37 millimeter gun. You had the Weasel, the amphibious uh, vehicle. You had the infantry, and you had the armored half track anti aircraft platform. So, those are pretty cool. So, these were my favorite. This is what I grew up with. I grew up with this style of box here. Um, in the 60s, I, I was just a kid. I was born in 1962, so um, these came out, I believe, 66, 69, and I wasn't ready for models then, and we were living in the projects, so my dad wouldn't, wouldn't have done that anyways. Uh, I think my first toy soldiers was uh, Fort Apache, the, um, the plastic soldier stuff, cowboys and Indians. Uh, but here's your original monogram flock panzer. This is your second series flock panzer, which is pretty cool. And then um, what we got going on here is um, this flock panzer here. Now the flock, uh, this panzer Kampf, this panzer Kampf wagon would have the same kind of box as this right here. I don't have that one, um, but. I do have this one, which was the next in line. This was an 80s, uh, the Panzer Attack Tank, which is still the, the same Panzer Kampf Wagon 4. Um, I, this, I bought this on eBay for like 18 bucks, and uh, I've been putting it together. And that's, that's her right now. She's looking pretty good. And what I ended up doing was I bought this because I needed parts for this flock panzer here. Uh, this flock panzer was half built. There were parts missing to it. And I wanted to have two complete sets of this vehicle and this vehicle to go into my showcase upstairs. In order to do that, I had to buy this and these pieces here are actually the um, the bogies and everything from this box here. So I took most of the parts out of this Panzer tank and put it into the Flak Panzer, and then took Flak Panzer bogies and hull and stuck it with this Panzer tank and just built this tank. That's going to go in my showcase. This I'm going to build, paint up and figure out what I'm going to do with it. 
but this was the 1980 release so the 60s release would look like this the 70s release looks like this the 80s release looks like this and then you have this right here I believe is it is it the 90s or 2000 which one is uh, let's see 2014 so that's your monogram release of the Panzer IV tank in 2014 So that's pretty cool. I got that Stuart tank from Tamaya. I'm going to do the Haunted tank from GI Combat. Then they had a, a release here of the old box work, artwork. And this was what, 2017? When was this? When was this? 2017, yep. Okay. So that was a release there of some old artwork. Oh, let me open it up. Because they got some pretty cool figures in here. This release has some pretty neat soldiers. I don't even you can see them because of the stupid bag. Can you see that? Maybe not. Ah! Uh, yeah, you can barely see these guys. This is bad. We'll see. All right. So what else we got? So then we have another 70s release of the armored car. And is this a 90s or an 80s release? This is a 1982 release. This was copyrighted in 1970. This is a 70 release. All 132nd scale. Oh, there's the Stuka with the swastika. This is a 1970 release. Yep, 1973. And Monogram did the only P40B um, P40 This is a 1985 release right there, that one. So we got a 70s and an 80s. And well, it's okay. Now we got now we got these cool guys right here. Um I got a bunch of soldiers in this box. Uh, this is the original box set for those, right there. This is what I this is what I remember growing up with and buying. Uh, this is a '70s release, and those soldiers belong in this box. Uh, this is just the top half. This is 1960, it's 1966 release of the Monogram Infantry, which is right here. They haven't changed any. So that's the 1966 box art for those soldiers. This is 1972, I believe. Uh, yep, 1972. 18 U.S. soldiers in action poses from the armor series. Right there, that's them. And then we've got an 80s release of the same, 1982, of the same guys right there. They're right there. So pretty neat. So you can see the... And this is pretty cool because you can see the transition from the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s. Just a different box art that, that went with it. So you can see that, that different transition from the 60s right there, the 70s, and the 80s. Pretty cool. And that's those guys. Um, this is your two and a half ton truck right there. Um, this is your monogram uh, screaming Mimi. That I. Uh, this is the one I fixed. This is one thirty second scale. This is a Ravel uh, one thirty five scale. You can see it is a there's a slight difference in there. Um, monogram also came up with a snap tight of a German Tiger, which is great for um, bolt action. That's her right there. And this is, uh, I know it's, a, ah, yeah, it's a Panzer Kampfwagen 4. I'm just trying to figure out what company made that, and I don't remember. But this is 148 scale. 
This is 148 scale, but it doesn't say it on this. It's just a snap tight German Tiger. Now, this is actually 1974. She came out. And there's, an, there's one in the box right there, and that's the other one right there that I built. So, it's actually not a bad model at all. I don't know if you can find them anymore. You could probably find it on eBay. Um, but that's pretty cool. So, these guys go up here. And there's your, there, there's your other snap type. There's the pattern. So there's the two tanks right there. Your snap type kits. And you go up here, and that's the other monogram model right there. For the uh, patent tank, the biggest size tank. Uh, 132nd or 135, I think it's 132nd on the scale. So this is actually pretty cool, pretty cool uh, box set. Now, um, this is the 1980s uh, catalog, which it only lists the patent tank, the Screaming Mimi. There's the patent right there. There's your Screaming Mimi right there. And there's your Hedgehog right there, which is kind of cool because over here I got a couple of Rebel uh, boxes and there's your there's your hedgehog right there by Ravel and it's actually the old monogram model because Ravel actually ends up buying monogram now there's a gentleman who does the history of monogram Ravel uh, Lindbergh I actually have a Lindbergh tiger over here That's a pretty neat tiger. It's got an open top. You can do a lot of crazy stuff with this tiger. This is a 148 scale tiger, uh, which I was going to use with the uh, bolt action as well. And uh, oh, what else we got in here? What is this? This is a M46 patent tank, 148. Okay. That's cool. This looks good. Yeah. Korea. Okay. That works. And just to top this off and end it, uh, we got the Armor Series catalog here, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we got this book right here. We got two books. We got uh, Remembering Rebel Model Kits, and we've got Monogram Models. This is by Thomas Graham. It's a Schiffer book. Um turn it over get you the ISBN code right there about 30 bucks and the old B17 or monogram B17 148 scale it was a fantastic oh my god I love that plane my buddy got me uh, he gave me one that uh, was found in the garbage parts were missing and stuff but man I love that thing that's it right there but it's rebel it's not monogram it's rebel but that used to be the monogram kit. And then Rebel did a 172nd scale down here, which I have. So, this is actually a cool book. Uh, they do a lot of this stuff. You got price guides. You got listing, serial, whatever they are, the code numbers for them. You know, look at Rambo attack set. <laughs> the final countdown. Remember that? USS Independence. Oh, there's uh, there's, I've been looking for that set right there. Can't really find it. It's got a 148 scale Panther that I wanted to grab for bolt action. But with COVID-19, I don't think we're going to be doing much war gaming. Uh, we got the Sky Raider. Uh, motorized leopard then we got the greyhound and the m20 armored car pretty cool right there now this gives you the history it gives you all i mean you got this there's, there's your uh there's your b17 right there look at that that's just awesome there she is right there wow 
Oh man. Wow. B fifty two Vietnam War camouflage. Oh. B fifty two emerged in the nineteen seventy cleansed of its Vietnam War camouflage. Huh. Okay. All right, so this book is pretty cool. I'd advise if you if you like the history, look at there's the Stuka, and then they took the uh, the swastika off the tail. Arrow Cobra. Now look at the Flak Panzer, and the Stumjitsu. All right, and I sound more Japanese than anything. Stumjits shoots. Stumjits shoots. Okay, uh, practice that I guess. All right. Uh, getting close to the end. Look, there's the old patent tank with the original artwork. And Puff the Magic Dragon. Oh, man, I remember that set right there. The Ho Shui Combat Team. The Cobras. And that was one of my favorite boats. Me and my buddies put those in a puddle and we ended up smashing them because we were punks. Yeah, pretty cool. So this is a neat book to pick up if you want to pick it up. This book is similar to the same, similar to this, um, and that's about it, guys. So uh, I'll end it here, and then we'll we'll slide into the soldier aspect over there. All right, guys, have a good one. You take care of yourselves. It's gonna be a crazy year. Look forward to it. Ciao.